authority to destroy. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. As we consider different ways to, in which we exercise our spiritual authority, I want us to understand another aspect or another dimension of exercising spiritual authority, which is to destroy what the devil is doing. We read in 1 John 3, 8, that for this very purpose, Jesus was manifested, that he would destroy the works of the devil. That means when he went about healing the sick, casting out demons, setting people free, what he was actually doing was he was destroying the works of the devil. That means whatever the devil had built up, he was tearing it down. Whatever the devil had assembled, Jesus was dismantling it. He was undoing uh, the works of the devil. He was uh, causing it to crumble, causing it to uh, uh, come off, uh, come down wherever Satan had put it up. Now in John 20 and verse 21, Jesus said, As my Father has sent me, I am sending you. Meaning Jesus is saying, you go there and do exactly what I have been doing. You go there and destroy the works of the devil, just as I have been destroying the works of the devil. So every believer has been authorized to destroy the works of the devil. So here's how you would exercise that authority. So if you come into a situation where you see the devil has done certain things, you say, in Jesus' name, I destroy what the devil has done in this person's life or in their mind or in their uh, circumstance, in this situation. I destroy it. That means you are uh, dismantling, you're bringing to nothing whatever Satan has built up in their lives. Typically, there would be bondages, there would be strongholds, there would be uh, things that uh, Satan has built in their lives, um, uh, behavior patterns, uh, mindsets, and so on. And you say, in Jesus' name, I pull those things down. I destroy those strongholds. The Apostle Paul said it like this in 2 Corinthians 10, verses 3 and 4. He said, the weapons that, we've been given to, that have been given to us are mighty in God, to the pulling down of strongholds. Of course, these are strongholds of the enemy that have been built up in the minds and in the lives of people. But the weapons God has given to us, we pull them down, we destroy them, we tear them down so that people can be set free. So exercise your authority. The anointing of God destroys the yoke of the enemy, the oppressive work of the enemy. Wherever you see something that Satan has built up, you have authority to destroy it. Use your spiritual authority. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the courage, the boldness to step out and where we see the devil doing, how the devil has done things, built wrong things, that there is in the minds of people, the blindness he's put upon them, the strongholds he's built over their lives, that by the authority of Jesus' name, we will tear them down. We will destroy them. Use us to destroy the works of the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.